Hello everybody, Konaja here. Welcome back to the Minecraft server. It is Tuesday. I hope your week is starting well. Today we are going to work on the Guano Connection. I guess is what we're calling that, if I remember correctly. And uh, there's some developments happening over there. I do want to say thank you everybody for your interesting and civil conversation yesterday uh, about the critique stuff. Got some more stuff to talk about there, but I'm not going to try and dwell on too much of that kind of stuff today. We got work to do. Also, I forgot to mention in my re-recorded video yesterday that I did see that Good and Jeff came over and saw the walkway in the area. Uh, it drew them in because it's so obnoxious. <laughs> I'm very well aware of the fact that this all looks pretty obnoxious. It actually looks a lot better now, I think, that that's in. Uh, it looks like it's... It, it, it ties together. It looks nice. Um, we'll, we'll take a better look at this in a moment. But, just know that I, I made all of this, and it is a little overdone and overstyled for, you know, the size and scope of our build over there. Knowing in the future, I'm going to do a larger build over there. I want to do my... my way overdone garage and some kind of you know big house mansion-y kind of deal up there on the mountain uh that's why i picked that spot because it looked like it would be good for it so all of this is here now and it might look overdone but in the future it'll probably fit more thematically with stuff we do over there uh, so don't don't worry too much if this looks out of place now hopefully in the future it'll come around and what else what else what else Oh, the, the straight paths. Uh, it was noted that the paths, you know, they're just straight shots. There's, there's no interest in them. I could have curved them around some and made them intricate and wrap around the mountain and stuff. The reason I didn't do that is because I approached this as a civil engineering project. So basically, I had the mentality of this is all here for ease of access. I realized that uh, Jeff and Good needed easier access from their farm to their base and I would want access from my base to uh, their base and nether portal and all that stuff so that's why this project is like this and it's a straight shot path instead of you know doing something fun and wrapping around the hills and looking cool uh, that way I'm doing this so that it actually get used because <laughs> uh, uh, I, I noticed that a lot of those intricate paths, the one that like sweep around and look all neat and fancy, nobody uses those. Just like sidewalks at a college campus, if it's not the straight shot, easy, low resistance path, people aren't going to take it. So that's why. That is why. Uh, also, there's one thing that I want to do related to uh, the base, the paths and everything so far. Just one moment. Long time member of the community. Part of the Farlander community, just uh, a name that we all know and trust. Crumbolina wanted me to get a good look of the area from a from a higher vantage point. Now, my instinct is that Crumbolina wanted me to do this mostly to put myself at risk and uh, uh, have a have an extra challenge to our, our OSHA challenge over there. However, I mean, I'm I'm a pretty stable individual, you know? Uh, I, don't, I don't make many fumbles, uh, and I, I generally do things in a very safe manner, so uh, there's no fear that I would, like, walk off the edge or anything. Also, if I did something like that, I would definitely do it above the water. <laughs> uh, okay. Now that that's done, everybody's favorite Minecraft thing. <laughs> okay. Give me these blocks. Give me. Give me that torch. Let's get to work. All right. So, like I said, there was a development in the uh, in the tunneling project. This happened to be pointed out in the uh, in the comments yesterday. So, we may have put ourselves at risk. Uh, there may have been a severe cave-in potential, and we have been punished. 
these these ugly columns in the middle have been put in place because the structure was not sound enough. And that is because in the corners I was not I was not placing the logs in the structural order or at least I wasn't paying attention to it. So I don't know which one of these is right. Maybe they're all right, maybe they're all wrong, but it should be that these are in place all the way up until they reach these. These should be on top of these. Uh, this should not be connected to that. Let me try and show you an example. Okay, this one is done correctly. So this one is supporting. Let's look at this one. This one is supporting, okay. I'm going to be really curious if I did these all correctly. So far, so good. At least I think that is what was being implied. I wasn't 100% sure. Aha! Uh -huh, here's one that is wrong. So yes, this should be all the way across, and that should be holding it up. Will anybody actually see this that comes through here? No. Will the people that watched the video know? Maybe some of them. <laughs> but I'm here to correct this wrong. This structure will be sound and we will not have any cave-ins. All right. And this was it. I thought this tunnel was going to be much longer than it is. Uh, but it is actually a pretty short little tunnel here. But I still today want to work on the the look of this because I have an idea of what I want to do. Wow, I had really lost the uh, lost the theme there somewhere down the line, didn't I? Um, yeah, I do have an idea for what I want it to look like, and like I mentioned in here, there will be an homage to those that have joined the uh, that have joined the OSHA challenge. <laughs> Is that what I'm calling it? I guess. Um, and are going to be making the direct relief donation based upon my days without an incident uh, counter. And uh, I have an idea for what I want to do with that. However, I need some help. Uh, if you were taking part in that, I'm going to... Oof, it's night time. Uh, I'm going to put a comment in the, in the comments below this video uh, stating, you know, if you're interested in taking part in the challenge, reply to this, so that I can have an official count of, of who's taking part. And it's going to be honor system based, for sure. Um, but yeah, I want to do that, because uh, we'll soon be working on that. All right, now I can get rid of these extra support columns. They were just for, um, you know, keeping things stable till we had that problem taken care of. All right. I kind of liked the way they looked in the middle there. It was neat. However, it, it doesn't go well with my utilitarian theme here, my, my civil engineering theme to build, uh, where, you know, this is purely for people to use, and I want to make sure people actually do use it. Okay, so... The idea that I have, this will break out into the open eventually, uh, maybe after nighttime. Uh, the idea I have is to have water in here. Uh, I want there to be a walkway in the middle that you walk on, and then on the edges, stairs. You remember how I said I was going to try and use that water thing uh, to our advantage? This is where that's going to come into play. This may not be the block material we use, but I'm just going to try and make an example of it right now. This is why I ended up making this one deeper as well. So, let's let's do some experimentation. So let's say we did this section. Uh, I'll block it off at the ends with just dirt. Okay. I only have one bucket, don't I? Crap, I thought I had two buckets of water. I only have one bucket. Okay, well, the idea would be that I would fill in these, and I'm curious what happens to the block next to it. It should just fill in next to it, right? It 
it, um, well, it doesn't fill in, it, it flows to the next one. So, okay, alright, so the, is that that water making noise? So the other idea I had was to open this up here and place the source there and see where it goes. Okay, it only went down. So I would need another source block right here for this idea. I see a problem with my idea there, though. If I were to do this, which would look freaking cool, by the way, to have the water walls there, I think. Uh, is it near daytime yet? No, it is only midnight. Okay, that's fine. Um, if I were to do that, I couldn't do the other thing I wanted to do, which was to have fish underneath of here. I wanted there to be a little aquarium under the walkway, so we would be walking on the aquarium. Alright, so I can still maybe do this, but it would mean my aquarium would need to be in here instead. I really wish there was glass half slabs. That would make <laughs> that would make this an amazingly easy project, but there isn't. Uh, but what this would mean is we would need to go one deeper, which isn't the end of the world. Alright. And then the water would be at this level. I really need to make an infinite source. Is there any way I can do this without taking damage? Where am I shield at? Oh, my shield's almost broken. Where are the foes at? There's a lot of foes out there. Maybe I'll just go sleep out the night. Maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> I gotta keep in mind that there's been some mobs spawning around the base, too. Looks like we're good, though. It's fine. Sleep time. I swear sometimes it takes longer to sleep than others. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how it works, though. Okay, so let's... Hi. Let's, uh... Yeah, we'll just take it from the pond. Let's take two buckets of water. I don't think I grabbed any fish. And I'll go make uh, an infinite spring over there. When they said they were doing water updates, I was kind of curious if they were going to change that. It's one of those things I always imagined would change in Minecraft, but it never did. The, uh, the infinite water. Which, I guess I'm happy about, because it is, it's a neat mechanic, you know, it's its something that's fun to use. Uh, where can I do this? Right here. And then, oops. Oh, it needs to be there too. And there. Totally believable that those leaves are blocking the water. They don't become waterlogged that way, right? You know, it has to be poured into the leaf to become waterlogged. Which I've been told looks super cool that you can waterlog leaf blocks. I don't have any on me, though. Okay, so. Gonna be standing water down here. I guess I should have tried to infinite spring that. That was dumb. It's fine. Actually, this gives me the right amount. So there would be standing water down there, all the way down the line. Now that's infinite spring, right? Right. And then in here. Oh, interesting. That's actually cool. I didn't think it would do that. I thought it would just be standing water right there. That's super cool. <laughs> I jumped right into the water. I'm the fish. Uh, that is super cool. Okay, so what about doing it like so? If it was on each side, fill this one. Oh, it, it filled the middle one automatically. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, okay. And then in the middle, I would want some kind of decoration block. But that would be the... Oh, did I break my infinite spring? Sure did. I was supposed to take the middle block and I didn't. Whoops. I thought I'd jump out. Okay. 
I'm, this this is all getting worked out <laughs> in this episode. Uh, we're probably not gonna make a lot of progress today. Instead, we're going to be we're going to be deciding on a design. Just honestly, oh, I thought that would fix it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, if we take the middle one, it'll be fine. Honestly, uh, this is my favorite part of doing all this. All right. That's right. It goes one down. It sure does. There. There. Then I need to... What if I do this? No. This? Huh. Interesting. That didn't, uh... It didn't fill in until I put the next one there. Hmm. Hmm. I just had an idea <laughs> of the uh, bubble column variety. So, I think the way the bow, I haven't experimented with bubble columns yet, but I think the way that they work is they only spread upwards if there's kale in them or something like that. No, the kale makes them all source blocks. Yeah, that's what it is. They only... The bubbles only go through source blocks. They don't go through flowing blocks. So if I wanted to do bubble columns here, I would need to make each and every one of these a source. Uh, what you can do and still have flowing water. Oh, snap. No, I can't. Go, go away. Who's done this? Okay. So that wouldn't really work for us here. <laughs> Because the water would flow out because there's nothing in front of it. It has to be like this. Okay. But I could do bubbly water under here, but the bubbly water is going to affect the fish. So in here, unless one of you guys has an idea on how to resolve that problem, I don't think we're going to have bubbly... Uh, columns, unless I did one in the middle somehow. Because we have this middle block that we don't know what we're going to do with just yet. You thought I was going to fall in again, didn't you? So did I. Okay, okay. Let me think on that one. Let me go grab some more supplies. I have one lapis on me. Hopefully I have more. Uh, I want to try blue stained glass above the water so you can hopefully see through it pretty well and hopefully see that there's fish down below eventually that's that's an important factor here and if you haven't figured it out yet the the, the nod to those taking part in the challenge you're gonna have a fish named after you in the aquarium in the tunnel that is the idea i have settled on all right i have lots of lapis I have a glass here. I got more somewhere else. Maybe not. What do I need to do in here? Let's just make one set for now to make sure that's the color I want to choose. Ow! <laughs> I want that back. Where's my pick? Did I put it in here? No. Where did I put that thing? Where did I put it? Row row. What do I do with that thing? It's not on me. Oh, it's in here. Okay. Uh, I need to get rid of some stuff. Uh, I can just do this. I just need this for a second. Uh, okay. Drop off some cobble too. Uh, let's drop off, let's combine those, and drop off some stone. My inventory is always a disaster. Fair warning. That never gets better. Alright, so this solves the transparency issue, hopefully. And we'll be able to see the water underneath. 
It's going to be a one wide column all the way down, and I hope the fish would be okay with that. If they're not, then I would need to extend the aquarium underneath outwards, which I'm okay with. I would actually combine it with these. Uh, that would be fine if I needed to do that. Okay, yeah, you can see through that just fine. But I'm going to go grab a fish to put in there to make sure that that's fine. I know I've blocked up my infinite source. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to extend this down one. Here, so I can put the fish in there. So, let's go grab ourselves a fish. A test fish. We won't name it yet, because we don't know of the... Uh, <laughs> we don't know exactly what the life expectancy expectancy of these fish is going to be just yet. Uh, we may need to do some tweaking with that. Oh, I am stuck. Any fishes? No fishes? Oh, there's a salmon right there. Half heart. We're fine. Salmon, salmon, salmon! Won't you come be our experiment? <laughs> I don't think that's how the song goes. Not at all. Okay, let's... Hello, random strip tree. Apparently I did that. Well, the stripped birch is probably the best of the looking one. It's the best of the stripped. It's got the best strip. Okay, let's go place this fish in the water. I think this design is going to take me a while to get through, so we might not finish the whole path this week, as I thought we might. Uh, but we'll at least try to finish this tunnel. Once I get the design down, it'll go quicker. Okay, so now he's in there. Uh, it, it looks it looks cruel, doesn't it? It just doesn't seem very nice. Even though eventually they'd be able to swim all the way front and back. They gotta turn around in a one block radius. That's not very nice. Mm, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Right, I do this. Of course you would. Of course you would. Hmm. There we go. Yeah. So, to fix that problem, whoops. To fix that problem, <laughs> you're going to be fine in there, right? <laughs> How long can a fish live in a bucket? Uh, not a question I expected to ask at any point, really. So let's dig that one out, that one out. And I want to dig from underneath. Can I do that? Can I swim in this? No. <laughs> uh, alright. I might just need to turn off the water. I guess I can just do it this way. So now the problem with that is the water is going to be flowing. And we don't want flowing water underneath. We want it to be standing water. So that... I'm thinking. So that the fish swim around, they don't get just caught up in the edges. Uh, I also don't know that I want it to be connected to these. I'm worried the fish are going to randomly climb up this fall out, and then dr drown? Uh, suffocate? Suffocate. <laughs> the fish are gonna drown! Uh, so I don't think we can actually connect it to there. Visually, it will look like it does. But it actually won't. Okay. So that's, that's kind of that. That means I need to get rid of these real quick. And I actually can swim in there. Now we can see that these are all standing water, but these aren't. I might need to start from the beginning. I think it might be easier if I just start over and work from bottom to top instead of working top to bottom. I don't have my silk touch pick on me, so I'm... How am I going to do this? 
put the water there. Actually, let's let's go ahead and make another infinite source in here, just for the ease of this project. I'm walking out there at night. Okay. So now I should be able to pour this into there. Yes, yes. Now, these are sources. That should get rid of it. Did I accidentally make an infinite spring here? What did I do? <laughs> Uh, I think I did, actually. I accidentally made an infinite spring in the middle. But we can get rid of it. Alright, now all of the water is gone. And what we'll need to do is start in the center. And then work our way outwards. I think if I do the four corners, that will stabilize the water. No, oh, just the three corners stabilized. No, uh, no, not exactly. Not exactly. Oh, it's the end pieces that are. Uh oh. <laughs> I got out. Okay. That are unstable. Okay, so we can fix that for temporary. Fish placing use. And now the stairs would go back in. Not that way, though. This is not going to be easy to place. There we go. Do it this way. All right. And then replace the water feature. I'll definitely want to do more design with these, uh, the water columns, but I, this is kind of just a proof of concept right now. And you'll note, this area will definitely have its own theme. Like, it's not 100% the block materials from out there. But it's only one new thing. And that's kind of the limitation I've been giving myself. Uh, the one, the, the bridge over there has a bit too many. The, uh, the lava bridge, but... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I broke my own rule, basically. Oh. It's behaving differently now. I wonder why. I wonder why it's behaving differently now. I wonder what this side's about to do. It did the same thing. Perhaps because it goes one deeper? Or perhaps because it's got water below it. I bet you it's because it's got water below it. Uh, it's combining those two. Does that mean that the fish could swim through this block because it's waterlogged? I don't know. We're gonna have to watch him and see. Alright, so it doesn't look like he's being carried by any currents. And can swim under the sides, that's good. This is probably one of the biggest fish, too, so... I'm very nervously watching, because I'm, I'm nervous that it's going to try and get into this block. Why are you so stuck right there? It's not flowing that way, is it? It might be. Please move. Please don't be stuck there. Yeah, I'm worried that this is, like, causing a current because it's pouring down into the block below. Might be an unintended consequence. Well, I'm going to observe this fish but I think that will do it for today. Thank you as always for watching. Sorry there was no critique talk today. We got really wrapped up into uh, the build talk, which is fine. And I will see you all tomorrow.